Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 2018 is due out in October, but other details are slim on the next entry to the franchise. Looking back at Battlefield 1, the game did at least try to innovate with varying degrees of success. When it comes to Battlefield 2018, everyone has a wish list. So here are five things I think we need in Battlefield 2018. Number 1. A Higher Skill Ceiling one of the big criticisms from players on Battlefield 1 is that it feels quote-unquote too casual. Certain aspects of gameplay detract from realism and offer avenues for abuse. One of the biggest is the self-repair feature for vehicles. This mechanic makes it easy for players in artillery trucks to camp on the hillsides and farm kills instead of playing the objective. It also allows airplanes like the Ilya Morimets bomber to destroy players with impunity. In previous Battlefield games, vehicle operators had to rely on teammates to repair their vehicles. This encouraged team play and rewarded highly skilled pilots and tankers. They would also have to exit the vehicle to make repairs, leaving them vulnerable. I'd also really like to see an increased focus on gunplay. Slowing the resupply or effectiveness of grenades might not be a bad idea. Similarly, I feel the support class needs an overhaul. LMG with a bipod is the new meta in Battlefield 1 after recent updates, and it's a bit unrealistic. Support class mechanics should reward players who seek superior positions for concentrated fire and then dig in. Lastly, as much as I enjoy the bayonet charge, it can be abused. If DICE includes it in Battlefield 2018, I would like to see its effectiveness tweaked. Number 2. More Customization Customization in Battlefield 1 was definitely lacking in terms of both weapon design and visual appearance. I'm not a fan of the weapon variant design used in Battlefield 1. I enjoy the ability to tweak every aspect of my weapon in an FPS, so I'd really like complete control in the next game to modify my weapon's scope, magazine, and other attachments. This design gives players ownership of the weapon and creates a more personal connection with the game. I did enjoy a number of the weapon skins in Battlefield 1, but if DICE wants to make visual customization a real source of interest and revenue for the game, they need to deepen player customization. Being able to edit things like uniform elements and camouflage would be a huge step in the right direction. Now That can be difficult to do with distinct class appearances, but there's no doubt in my mind that it can in fact be done. Number 3 is Behemoths. Behemoths remain a bit of a divisive element added with Battlefield 1, but you can't deny their value making sure a lopsided server doesn't totally die off. They almost never turn a game around, but if you're on the losing team, Behemoths feel like some kind of consolation prize, and they make a loss a little less bitter. For the winning team, they're a fun challenge when a multiplayer match is going a bit too easy. Behemoths also add a wow factor to Battlefield 1. They're visually stunning and always catch your attention. I've tried to imagine Battlefield 1 without behemoths, and it seems like their absence would be quite noticeable. Behemoths are also fascinating from a historical perspective. They're almost too big to be practical in other games, which means they're truly something you'll only see in Battlefield. Number 4 is a better progression system. Battlefield 1's progression system left a lot to be desired. War bonds made access to guns too easy, in my opinion. Many players simply unlocked weapons like the Automatico or the Model 10, and then simply ignored all of the other weapons in that class. It's a tough decision to force players to unlock something, even if you want them to have a, quote, sense of pride and accomplishment, end quote. That approach didn't work out well for Star Wars Battlefront 2, but the unlock system in Battlefield 1 was just a bit too simplistic for my tastes. I really miss Battlefield 4's unlock system, where it took points to unlock particular weapons as you leveled up. This let players learn the ins and outs of particular weapons and gave them actual goals to work towards. I could also see the same system working with vehicular unlocks, rewarding consistent players with new abilities or options. And finally, at number 5, Battlefield 2018 needs regular content drops. This is a point I cannot stress enough. Battlefield 1's DLC release schedule was far from ideal. 
The game launched in October 2016, and it took two months for devs to release the Lone Giant Shadow Map and the Crossbow Launcher. It would be another three months before we got the first official DLC release, They Shall Not Pass, in March. Six months later, In the Name of the Tsar arrived late to the party. The release tempo for Turning Tides and Apocalypse was more acceptable, but it highlights the issue plaguing the early life of Battlefield 1. With games like Fortnite drawing huge amounts of players, releasing content infrequently just isn't going to cut it anymore. Fortnite seems to add new content every week, and it's free. A new gun here, a new grenade there, or perhaps a new gadget. Map drops are far more rare, but the point is that there's always something new happening in the game. Fortnite gives players a reason to pick up the controller every week, and that's something the Battlefield franchise definitely needs to work on. If DICE wants a healthy, long-term player base for Battlefield 2018, expect it to have a more regular release schedule for new content in smaller doses. Maybe a map a month or the occasional new weapon or vehicle would help keep players engaged. Developing content in smaller chunks is also easier for devs, and it gives them a reason to regularly promote their game and entice you to return. Now, that is an approach at odds with Battlefield's traditional premium pass model, but the truth is, Battlefield needs to evolve or perish. Those are my top five things we need in Battlefield 2018. Do you agree? And what would you like to see in the next game? Tell me down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell to stay up to date on everything Battlefield 2018. If you want to support the channel, sharing this video on social media like Facebook or Twitter also goes a long way to help. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.